Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I'm going to show you a new script I just wrote that will plot, <coughs> plot a ratio between the closing price of two stocks from a pair that the system will choose based upon a number of uh, criteria and metrics I'm not going to get into at this point, but this uh, script will do that. Um, it will also create a uh, CSV which can be easily loaded up in in uh, Excel. So in this case, we're looking at a pair of Amazon and Google. I'm going to show you three different pairs. Each pair has prices for each where they're really closely together. This is just random set of pairs that I thought would be, again, close to, to the price. So here's the first CSV, the common separated value. So here we've got the closing price, and it goes about 300 uh, rows or, or, or dates uh, or 300 days of, uh, or in this case, 206 days of closing prices for uh, Amazon, Google, grabs a date, and then it will grab a ratio between the closing prices of, of Amazon and Google. All right, so that is the uh, CSV. Here is a chart. So this will be a chart going like pretty current and it goes all the way back uh, as I said 205 days but the system will have it at 300 and uh, goes back to May 2015. Now understand uh, some stocks don't go as far back um, and it, it will throw an exception you can easily put exceptional handling in the script for this purpose I don't have it. Very simple primitive script but um, a good example of a, school, of a stock that doesn't go far that far back is obviously Facebook. So, as I said, I'm going to run it. I'll run the first one. Now, this IDE that I'm using is Spider. I'm finding, and I've said this in a previous video, that Spider has its huge problems. Um, but the upgrades with PyCharm can really set you back in terms of thinking it's a code, but one's actually something in the, the IDE. So let's run this uh, as it stands. So that's why I'm using Spider. So off it goes, and I just ran it. Now this is the IPython console. Here's the chart. Uh, it created the new file, the CSV of 1246. So here's the date. So that's the first pair. Let me just show you another pair. Oh, and I forgot to also mention the green uh, is a trend line for the last two months of 242 days. All right, so let me show you another uh, pair. So what we'll do is we'll do, um, we will do uh, GM and Yahoo. So let me just run it. So there's our, our uh, GM and uh, Yahoo ratio and the trend line. Now when the prices, this ratio crosses the trend line, those are usually uh, buy and sell opportunities or one of. Okay, um, so that's that. I don't need to show you the CSV. Now the last pair we'll do is Apple and Facebook. So you, again, you can run any any pair. I could set this up to feed two um, uh, stocks as parameters or arguments into the script. For now, that's how I set it up. So let's just do this last step here. So here we have. Uh, that sinking fill in an apple, and the debt ratio shows it. So that's obviously shorting. Okay, so that's pretty well the script. If you want to walk through the script uh, and to get it, um, head on over to my Quant Elite membership. In order to do that, it's pretty simple. Just go to my blog, quantlabs slash blog, and then uh, your best bet is there is a little tab 
right here called Elite, and that will take you to uh, my uh, offering. Okay, and I'll explain everything that's in it. And this is one of many, 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 many scripts and courses and stuff. All right, hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later.